here to my first conference in such a nice place. So, my name is Alex Falk. I'm a PhD student at the University Polytechnic of, of Timisoara. And my coordinators are Livio Marshavina from the University Polytechnic of Timisoara and Octavian Pop from the University of Limoges. So, I'm here to present you my paper, The Experimental Determination of Strain Distribution on Quality Circuit Board using uh, digital image correlation. So, uh, the content of my presentation. First of all, I want to explain you in introduction what is the motivation, what are printed circuit board and for what they are used, and the method used for, for measurement. Resistive strain gauge measurement and digital image correlation, DAC. Uh, after the, the experimental setup, uh, and then the strain go the measurement with strain gauge and with DAC. And after that, the conclusion, a comparison between them. Okay, so first of all, I would like to speak about the motivation. This comes from automotive industry, uh, where was observed some problem, especially in, in the area of sensitive uh, electronic component like microprocessors due to difference of level of surface where the PCB are placed, uh, vibration, temperature load, shocks uh, can be observed that in the area of BGAs, packaging surface mounting of uh, uh, here can be observed some cracks in the area of microprocessors. Okay, so the wish uh, was to see if can be used the method to see the distribution of strain on all surface of the PCB in order to avoid the placement of sensitive components <coughs> like microprocessors. Okay, so what are PCBs? PCBs are mainly designed to support and connect an electronic component assembly and are made from more uh, layers. Here it's explained a double side uh, PCB, which is formed from a substrate FR4, uh, epoxy glass, and two layers of copper. Uh, the PCB used in my case is formed from more uh, this, uh, stakes, 11 stakes like this, which uh, are uh, laminated together with heat and adhesive. Okay, so it was observed that the strain is becoming smaller due to, to PCB size, uh, more complex electronic component like microprocessors, uh, shifting to environmentally friendly material without lead to lead free solder paste, and which is, um, which is more fragile than solder paste with lead. Uh, according to actual standard IPC, the limit of 700 mic micro strain is allowed. <coughs> and also in the in the, in the, the standard is presented uh, how to use the resistive strain gauge method. Uh, the, they are used uh, rosette, uh, strain gauge rosette that are placed on the corner of the component about zero, uh, at about 2.5 millimeter from the corner. Uh, most used in the practice are, are these rosette of zero degree, 45 and 90 degree. Uh, in this formula, it's calculated the maximum principal strain and the minimum principal strain epsilon on end. Okay, uh, digital image correlation. Uh, is a non-contact optical measure method for measuring the strain ac across the surface. So it can be the strain in all the surface of the part. Uh, in principle, are required to three steps to implement uh, this method. In first step is the preparation of the sample by applying, applying a spread and sparkle pattern. This is very important to have a good quality in order to avoid the to reduce 
the way that it's impossible, but to reduce the, the noise. Uh, after that, the recording of the image in different phases of loading, and then the processing of recording images. The basic principle, uh, you record the image, and the image is split in different subset, and from there you see what happened with, with the points in comparison with the undeformed image. Okay, uh, the experimental setup. The PCB is assembled between an housing and a cover with a four screw M2.5. And on, on the housing and the cover was considered some uh, bumps of 0 0.2 millimeter uh, in order to simulate the difference of surface where the PCB is placed. Here it can be shown how the PCB is bended. And the strain will be there. Uh, the sequence of screwing is this one and was done in four steps of a torque of 0 0.25 Nm, 0 0.4, 0 0.55 and 0 0.7 Nm. Okay, uh, the measurement. Let's consider three rosettes uh, in the corner of the microprocessors. Microprocessor. Uh, the gauge use HMB RF91, and the data acquisition was done with quantum mix and analyzed with Catman. Okay, so here can be you can see the results and the, the evolution of strain for each. Uh, strain gauge of rosette. Uh, in this was presented two tests uh, and based on, on the first equation I show you here can be shown the maximum principal strain uh, which can be observed that for, for rosette number one uh, exceed the value of 700 micro strain then the CB strain Okay, uh, the setup for for digital image correlation was done with Dantec Q400. Uh, here is the PCB that will be analyzed <coughs> in the setup. Uh, it can be shown, I don't know exactly, uh, the surface of the PCB with the random speckle and the calibration of system and acquisition of the image. Uh, okay, after the correlation, uh, these are the results and the distribution of strain on the surface of the PCB. I extract from the same area where the strain gauge were placed the value to see exactly and to, to be able to make a comparison with, with the, the strain gauge measurement. These are the results. In area of D1, D2, uh, can be observed that the value of 700 micro microstrain was was exceeded. Okay, so based on on uh, measurement done with uh, strain gauge and with uh, DAC, uh, the conclusion are presented in, in this graphic. So uh, with uh, green line, it's a mean of uh, results obtained from uh, DAC, and with dotted line are the limits obtained from uh, measurement with strain gauge rosette. And in conclusion, I can say that uh, the DAC results are in the same range uh, with uh, cut from strain measurements, and this measurement allowed an accurate measure of strain on PCB, offering the advantage of to seeing the distribution of strain on, on all surface. Okay, so thank you for your attention. Thank you. Yeah, if you have some comments or some.